What, what are you doing? How, how, how are you such a big powerhouse of love in the middle of all this nonsense? I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I don't do well when I have a frown on my face. I think everyone's exhausted of all the fighting and the, um, the sort of negativity. And that doesn't mean that you can't stand for certain things and, and still be positive. And I kind of just, it, it wasn't even conscious, to be honest, but I feel like something just clicked where I was like, we don't even have to like address any of, <laughs> of this. Let's just like focus on what's important and um, the people that are important in spreading positivity and uniting yeah. and being able to have those conversations that we need to have. Well, you've been doing a, a beautiful job of it. How did you feel? when you saw President Trump, you know, coming down so hard on, on four women of color in Congress. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's disgusting, to be honest. Um, it's, I mean, to say it's disappointing, it, it doesn't even come close. I mean, it, it seems, I'm just like honestly waiting for like a racial slur to come yes. out. Like we're, we're not far from it <laughs> at all. Like how much closer do we need to be? Um, but I just see, like, the way everyone rallied around. I mean, the homecoming for uh, and Omar, like, welcome back home. I mean, that was just incredible. I think everyone's, like, disgusted by that. That's that's not who we want to be as a country. And that just, I mean, I think even his own party's like, <laughs> wow, that was <laughs> too far. I mean, too far for even us. Um, but it, you know, it, it makes me you know, sad in that way, but it's also like just energizes me so much. And I hope it, mm -hmm. I hope people feel that. I'm just like, oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. I hope people realize that too um, far. the more, yeah, way too far. And the more that we just are, are upset about it and, and don't accept that kind of behavior from all sides, then the better place we're going to be. Uh, you said that you wouldn't go to uh, the Trump White House, but you did say you would go to D.C., and you did say you wanted to meet with AOC. Mm -hmm. And then, Who doesn't? Uh, well, hey, exactly. Uh, if you AOC, AOC, I mean, bring them all. <laughs> exactly. Go. Yeah. Um, if, if, uh, have you got a chance to talk with her yet in the middle of all this stuff that's going on? Not yet. It's been such a crazy whirlwind. Yeah. Um, I think there's people working behind the scenes to try to get um, an event together in DC that could be really cool. Um, yeah. Hopefully, it's something that is uniting and that's talking about the things that we want to talk to. and. Uh, talk about, and that's, that's not just to say we want people that think like us, but if you're going to come and, and be there, you have to come genuinely and um, with, with serious intent to talk about some of these issues that we want to talk about, and we can hash it out and get to a better place. Well, you know, a lot of people are hoping that maybe you'll run for office and be, <laughs> and be the fifth member of the squad. Would that be good? Yeah. Let's be the fifth member of the squad. Oh, Is that yeah. possible? Yeah. Yes? Can you imagine if I like walked into Congress with this outfit on? <laughs> <laughs> that would be, be good. Yeah. That would be good yeah. for Congress. I think yeah. Congress would be much better off. Right. Any chance you got to run? Everybody's saying you got to run. You got to run? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like wildly unqualified to be running for office. Um, According I'm happy to, who? to to do. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm wildly qualified. Actually, all of a sudden. Um, I'm happy to, um, you know, throw my weight behind someone. And I always say, like, I think everyone has a responsibility to do something. Everybody can do, do something. something. Yeah. Um, and you have to do something. It's not like you just can. Like, it's vital that you do something. So I'll be doing something. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure yet, but it'll be vocal. Um, do any of the candidates right now running for president, do any of those appeal to you yet? Or are you still, you still looking at all 27,000 of them trying to yeah. figure, out, yeah. figure out their names? <laughs> I've, I've certainly knocked some names uh, off the list. Like which? Um, I'm interested in um, Warren, of course. Mm -hmm. um, interested in Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. um, Bernie Sanders, I don't think, I, I like his message, but uh, I'm not sure that, um, that it's for me necessarily, and and what we really like need as a country. Um, you say not for you. What do you mean? Ah, he's just. I don't want to be ageist, but he's he's very old. Um, <laughs> I like a lot of stuff he says, though. To be yeah. honest, I mean, I mean, he's uh, and he's been saying it for a long time. Well, I mean, now, he's probably like, God, I've been saying this ever. Why, why do you like Elizabeth Warren? She's just so smart yeah, and smart. like, like organized. Like her thoughts are like organized. She has this clear message. Um, and she's powerful, I think. She just has that, like, something sort of intangible about her. Um, I would never want to get in an argument with Kamala Harris. I'm nope. like, Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I'm like, you're right. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, whatever it is. Uh, you've been fighting for, for, you know, equal pay, women's issues, whatever. Is it time for us to have a female president? Yeah. 
I said, yes. Yo. I mean, yeah. I think, like, of, of course you don't want to, of course you wouldn't, you know, you don't want to say, like, oh, we need to, you know, prop up a female so she can be president. But, like, there's been so many that are qualified and overlooked. We're, we're so hard to pick apart every single little thing. And, like, maybe it's time for us as a country to just Embrace a woman, let's just see what happens. See what happens, exactly. Let's yeah. take a step back, we'll just see what happens. We can always just go back to no presidency. <laughs> okay? Exactly. You know, this whole idea of patriotism is now kind of on trial. It's like, well, you know, you're not a patriot, well, you're not a patriot. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you consider yourself to be a patriot? Yeah, I think I'm super patriotic. Yeah. Um, I do consider myself extremely patriotic. I think, like, we love in America to talk about, you know, how, you know, good we are and how, like, we want to save the world and we're always intervening in places because they're not doing it right. And meanwhile, at home, we're not even doing that oftentimes for our own people. So, I mean, I feel like even just to, to be a, a good person, but certainly to be what I think of as, as a good American and all the ideals we want to talk about, I mean, like, looking at the Statue of Liberty, like, what does that mean? What does, you know, what does the flag mean? Um, mm -hmm. I think it means standing up for people um, who maybe can't themselves, for speaking out about things, for, for being brave and kind of putting yourself out there and um, kind of sticking your chest out and being willing to, to take it um, and to make it better for everyone. If we want to be considered the best in the world, which I think we certainly consider ourselves the best in the world for a good reason, um, why can't we always be better? Why, why does criticizing or looking within, why is that weakness? To me, that's not weakness. That's, that's identifying a problem and saying, I know it's a problem, I'm gonna fix it and make it better and then it's not a weakness anymore and then you're stronger, yeah. so. And maybe that's how you get to become a champion. Yeah.